Oh my goodness. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Maryland's Cafe Society Radio Show. Boy, so much to do. Trying to get to Twitter and Facebook. Sorry, guys. We'll see if we can get there before we sign off in, in about 25 minutes or so. But of course, Miss Brittany Spears there with her hit sometimes. And uh, she, of course, attended the 40th Annual People's Choice Award on uh, this past Wednesday night. And she won her very first award, her very first People's Choice Award as uh, best or most favorite pop star. So congratulations to her on that win. And I guess she beat out Bruno Mars, Demi Lovato, Justin Timberlake, and Katy Perry. So good for her, right? And in other music awards, favorite male artist Justin Timberlake won, uh, beating out Blake Shelton, Bruno Mars, Michael Buble, and others. And let's see, for uh, favorite band, One Direction was the winner in that category. Favorite alternative band, Fallout Boy. Favorite song, Roar, by Miss Katy Perry. Favorite country artist, Taylor Swift, Go Figure. And Tim McGraw won and the category of favorite country music icon. Favorite hip hop artist, Macklemore and Ryan. Boy, they beat out Lil Wayne, Kanye West, Jay Z, and Drake. My goodness. All right. Well, music. It's not the only thing that they recognize and honor in um, the People's Choice or at the People's Choice Awards. A favorite actor in a television series, Joseph Morgan, won in that category. Um, a favorite television crime drama, Castle. Yeah, that's a good one. A favorite cable television comedy, Psych, was the winner in that category. Uh, favorite TV bromance. I thought that was an interesting uh, category. Uh, Sam Dean and Castiel Supernatural was the winner. Favorite TV movie miniseries American Horror Story that beat out Behind the Candelabra, The Bible, Sharknado and The White Queen. Uh, favorite movie duo uh, Sandra Bullock and George Clooney for Gravity won in that category, which of course uh, reminds me of this opportunity that I did want to share with you regarding the Oscars. Uh, I think the Oscars happens in March and they'll be making their announcement nominations or an announcing the nominees on the 16th, which is next Thursday. But we do know that uh, television icon Ellen DeGeneres will return to host the Oscars for a second time. And producers Craig Sedan and Neil Murren, um will be uh, producing that. It's going to broadcast live on Sunday, March 2nd on ABC television. So uh, good for Ellen. I like Ellen. I think she, she does a fantastic job. So it'll be good to see her in the hosting role. I just can't believe how quickly time is getting away from us and all of this. We'll try to uh, catch up with um, the Super Bowl and give you some information on some upcoming performances. Uh, by the way, the Golden Globe Awards is tomorrow, everybody, on NBC at 7 o'clock. And Tina Fey and Amy Polar are back as hosts. So good for them. And that it's women rock, don't they? We rock. All right, stand by. We'll be back with more after this. <laughs> 